Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, I am Steve Chapman of Fishing Florida Radio. And today I was asked to talk about tackle organization. How you organize your tackle to become more efficient and to maybe not bring as much crap with you when you go in a boat or you go shore fishing or you do bank fishing, whatever it is, the type of fishing you, you do. In the past, I've seen many pros when they open up their hatches, there's lots of organized tackle, hundreds of boxes. Um, and that's really the goal when you go fishing because if you need to rummage through things to find a certain bait or a plastic or a spinner bait or whatever you're using, using the longer that you're looking for that, that's lost opportunity to catch more fish. If your bait isn't in the water, you're not gonna catch fish. So I've, over the years, have taken what I've seen from many really amazing pros and kind of brought it into the way that I fish. Now I go saltwater fishing and I go bass fishing and I go on a boat and I do all sorts of stuff. But my goal is when I go fishing personally that I'm not taking 12 bags of tackle. I know exactly what I want to do. So the first thing I do before I go fishing, and one of the things that I enjoy the most is getting ready for fishing. I know tie on fresh leaders, do all of that the night before, but also if I know I'm going to go bass fishing and I'm going to be worm fishing, I set that up first, just like probably everybody does. And, and let me make sure I say this. The way I do, thing isn't, do things isn't perfect, but maybe you can get some some helpful hints and tips that will help you become better and more efficient and things like that. Again, this is just the way I do it and hopefully this helps you. So the night before you get things ready, you tie on leaders, you get the first couple baits that you want on those rods ready to go. But when you take that, when you, when you start or getting your tackle ready, you need to have everything in those boxes or bags or however you have it ready to go. It's very important. Why? You, again, you don't have to rummage through things and that's that helps you in many ways. I'd like to say that this episode or this vlog is brought to you by Tackle Webs, instant gear storage. If you're not if you don't know what Tackle Webs is, you're you're really missing out on a great product. It it is a bag that can attach to any place where you have open areas. You can put it in your car. You can put it in your cooler so you don't have soggy sandwiches and other things. Tackle webs, cooler webs, they can go inside your hatches, all sorts of stuff. Underneath your, your seat in the front of your bass boat so you can just quickly grab tackle or pliers or all sorts of stuff, drinks, whatever you want. And it makes it so you can get your bait tie on a new bait quickly, faster, because they're there stored where they don't go flying out of the boat in a mesh bag that is just wonderful. So go to tacklewebs.com to check them out. Back to what I'm doing. So when I go fishing, I get ready, tie on leaders, get my first couple rods ready to go. And then what I like to do is because I have my tackle, I use these Plano 3700 tackle boxes, I have them labeled exactly what is in each one. As you can see, this one is saltwater sass and shads, uh, and it's for ditch fishing. So if I'm going ditch fishing, that's what I want, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring this one, and there's another one in here that I bring. So that's one. Going bass fishing, here in this one is culprit riptides, water dragons, fast vibe, incredibug, fat, Fat Max, and then uh, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dippers. As you can see, they're what's in each one and where they are, so I know what I have. And if I'm if I run out, I also know what it is. Now, one of the problems with you can use these. You can use any any brand that you want. I use the ones that have these snaps because down here in Florida, we get a lot of. Not, I don't want to say mildew, but we get a lot of condensation and the condensation gets in here and it can it can make things get a little funky Especially with your hooks and stuff, but that doesn't have hooks. So those you see there one for ditch one for bass 
Now the problem is, is that because of the soft, the plastics being soft, the softer the plastic, the more you're gonna see your, your stuff start to get a little funky. As you can tell, this is for shrimp. If I'm going, if I'm going in the lagoon or whatever, this is, these are, um, these are Z-Man shrimp and some other shrimp that uh, I'm gonna try to test to see how they are. But generally, I use Z-Man because they're good. But then again, it just says Z-Man shrimp on it. But as you can tell just by this, the softer the plastic, these are gonna warp a little bit. And that's just, that's just life. You can tell this one's a little bit older than those first two. This is one of those go-to ones. And then of course, stuff like all, this is all, all about frogs. I mean, if I'm going bass fishing, I don't, I don't want top water. This is all frogs. But what everything is, as you can see, everything is organized and has not only what it's for, but then what's in it. The new hyperplastic, hyperelastic dart spins. There's a whole thing of those. So that what I what I do when I go fishing, I just have to grab a bag up here, take what I I'm only going to take the three or four boxes that are definitely needed, and that's it. I'm not going to take an extra amount of baits, extra amount of stuff. Now, when you go bass fishing, you can take all sorts of things, or saltwater fishing, you can take the whole house. But my goal is to be very minimalistic. I'm going to do I'm only gonna take certain things that I know, first off, I know are gonna work, because I wanna I wanna go out there and catch fish. But the second time, I don't wanna clog my boat, someone else's boat, or have to drag the whole house with me to the water. Couple fishing rods, two, three fishing rods, extra leader, pliers, and then a ba one bag, maybe two bags of just tackle. When I break off or I need to change. I know exactly what I need to do because my, my boxes are sitting upright like this in a bag and I can look down and quickly go, oh, I just, I just caught one on saltwater sass and shad. Let me pull this out, grab them and go, grab another one and go. Now you can use, like I said, you can use these Plano boxes. You can see I got extra ones or you can use your bag in this case, these are DOA worms, eight inch worms, uh, with John Cox juice marinating. I, I don't, I use, it's double bag, why? Because I don't want the, want it to get funky. I, I don't want to smell what's in this. It catches a lot of fish, lots of fish, but I don't want to smell it. And then if I'm going just every day, I, I go fishing every day. I go bass fishing in little ponds and lakes and stuff like that. And I have just one thing, this, this little Bass Pro, then this just has sleeves that just has everything I want for just that day. If I'm going just for an hour or two, I just take this and pliers. Why? I don't want to have to carry all this stuff. I don't want to have to drag this around as I'm walking around a bank. As little as possible is kind of the goal that I, that I use. Makes it easier for me, it's less clutter, I, I, my theory is bring what I need and use, and that's it. Everything else is just extra stuff that you have to carry or lug around or bring with you, all that stuff. So make it minimal, but we'll, at this, the, the major thing is have everything marked. Have everything marked so you know exactly what you have and what you don't have. The, uh, the other good thing about knowing that is to, easily, to get into it quickly and easy, but at the same time, if I know what it is and where it is, I don't have to go back up to, to a tackle shop and rebuy things. I know that just today, I put these Voodoo Mullet in. This has been a killer for me. Voodoo Mullet has been unreal for me at, uh, when I go fish the lagoon. I ran out of them. I mean, I had 12 or 13 of them. I went the other day, got online and bought, bought more exact color that I needed. And I knew I was out because there wasn't any in there. I know exactly what I have, what I want to use, what I'm going to use, and that's it. A label maker is like $15. This label maker was 15 bucks to do this. Now I made the mistake and got yellow and I should have got white, but that's life. That's, that's part, of, part of how this is. So you can use Plano boxes, you can use um, these 
these are the, the lure locks, if you've ever seen these. They have this uh, down here that's really sticky. And it holds, oh, it didn't hold that one that well. These are lures that I'm going to try out. I haven't had much luck with these yet, but they got the right tail and everything. So, but you can use those. You can use, some of them have anti-rust uh, compartments in them. And they, they definitely don't rust for you. So, get organized. That's the key. Mark it down. Know what's in your boxes. It's less clutter. You don't buy extra stuff. Uh, you don't have to bring more stuff when you go out fishing. That's that's in, really the key to this. Keep your get your get your fishing on. You know, get it on your bait and get it back in the water. Because if it's not in the water, you're not catching fish. You're just twiddling around, circling. You know, who the hell wants to go do that? You know, that's how it is. So, thank you to Tackle Webs. Go to tacklewebs.com to find out more information about their instant gear storage that hangs up on hatches in your boats, in your car. They have a cooler web that, that goes into your cooler so you don't have soggy sandwiches. And thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the notification, do it all. You know, we appreciate it. Of course, if you're watching this and you want some free tackle, all you gotta do is, is email us at info at fishingfloridaradio.com or go to our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash fishing florida and just send us a private message and we will get you on that list of free tackle there's 10 or 12 or uh companies that send send out stuff for us and you'll be surprised on some of the stuff that you'll get it's really great and you want to know it? it's free why wouldn't you why wouldn't you do it all it is, is an email we don't send you other stuff all we do is send it out and you start getting some free packages so do that Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. I know I've had two or three people ask me what I've seen in the past and how other people do it. And hopefully this helps you. But get organized and catch more fish. Until we see you next time, get your fish on. Hey, do us a favor. Click over here if you want to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see one of our past videos, click right here. Yeah, and here. Hopefully that works. <laughs>